Hello my YouTube friend, we're back in the shop and it's time to get some work done. I've been kind of out of it the last month or so just with, with it getting really hot, I just didn't feel like doing too much. And I did that video a few weeks ago where I was offering the list and sell stuff for people from the shop and uh, I went hard at it for about a day and a half, two days and it just burnt me out. I just haven't been able to do much work since. <laughs> so that failed, I can't really do that. Spending hours and hours and hours to sell a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff I'd rather just make more videos. But because of that, I haven't done much in the shop, so the shop is kind of a mess. So with the weather turning nicer this week, I feel a bit more motivated, so I feel like I need to work on the shop, clean it up. I've been holding off buying stuff because I just the shop is too cluttered. I wanted a lot of stuff to sell. I wanted to clear out the shop and just make room for like a big collection. I don't want a lot of small collections. I want one really big, awesome collection because that makes for an awesome video. You guys enjoy that, and it gets a lot of people to come into the shop. All right, let's see what condition the shop is in and see what work I have to do. So I've been trying to avoid it, but it keeps happening. So I have six or eight boxes in the front here that are just cluttering up the front. I need to clear it out. There's a collection I'm going to show you today that I bought like a month ago. And I'm just going to try to thin this out. Honestly, I need to get rid of this because it makes this whole area so that people can't buy anything. And it's really bad for the shop. The front, I have a little box of comics I got a price and a little box of clutter to deal with. And then on this side, I have a box of comics I bought, a few other comic purchases. I got to film those for Pop Comics. And uh, I think there's three bins of stuff I still have to price out. And uh, I, actually, those two boxes are a little bit of a collection of stuff that I bought. So I need to show you guys that today and price out. I Today's goal, I need to clear out the front here. I really want the front of the store clear. If I can get that cleared out and then possibly work on this a little bit, try to get that cleared out. That's the main goal today. Uh, but there is space opening up. So it looks like on this shelf, I have a couple of spaces where things have sold over the last few weeks. A few more spaces opening up here. So I think if I condense all that, I can make some room to put some of the stuff from these boxes into. So that's one job. I gotta get rid of that crate. I think my wife finished pricing everything that was in that crate the last couple of days. Uh, okay, down this aisle, I have one sort of, actually two clutter bins here I gotta work on and a box of CDs I'm not sure where to put. I feel like if I condense a little bit over that way, I might have room. Uh, this wall is relatively clean. I sold a whole ton of uh, sodas to Alex and to John. So that actually cleared it up. So I had a little bit more room here. So I actually could put more hanging toys. I just have to kind of organize that a little bit. Uh, I haven't really sold many pops on the top here. And then this shelf has a little bit of room that's opened up for pops. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to pretty soon too with my record guy thin out a lot of the slower selling records and then try to make sure that all these sections are a little bit more full. Like right now I'm telling him not to bring records because we're so overloaded. But I feel like if I got rid of a couple boxes here and then like Moody Blues, I have a full box. I don't need that. I could put some of that underneath. Although why the heck is there a Ludacris record in there? That's weird. I'll put that over here with the rap and hip hop. Um, okay, and then over here it looks like there's a little bit of room. Yeah, and then the CD area is a mess, so I gotta work on that a bit. Uh, a couple boxes of graphic novels, which I might move over here if there's enough room. Not 100% sure. It looks like there's a little bit of space to work with here, but for the most part, it's pretty full. I could probably hang up a couple things right there, but that's pretty full. And then uh, over here, uh, these shelves are still pretty full. I have to clean up that shelf. And I still have two boxes of comic books. I did get a third box done in the last month, but I gotta just finish pricing those out. I have a few more clutter bins that I got to work on here. Oh, I have my uh, San Diego Comic-Con haul. I didn't really buy that much this year, but I bought a bunch of the soda and stuff. So we'll actually open that up in a little bit. And then this is the aftermath over the weekend. So actually, wait, over here first, there's a lot of room opening up on the kind of grail area. So those are still selling well. I probably have enough room to actually buy a nice collection right now. This cabinet also has about a third of the space emptied. So there's room there. Uh, let's see, this shelf is pretty full. Uh, there's, you know, you see a little bit of space, but also might have been people just pulled stuff down to go through it. So I do need to organize this whole area. I really would like to get to the point where I've sold out of all the floor bins. And then once this kind of whole row has sold out and there's like a little bit of room on the wall, I think that's when I'll be ready to start buying collections again. And then uh, up here, looks like that's a bit of a mess that needs organizing. And then back here is kind of a mess I gotta work on. Uh, over here is also a bit of a mess, but with this new shelf, I can kind of keep it a little bit more organized. But I do need to organize this, and I think I can make up some room. I think up here there's a little teeny bit of room. So once I organize and condense, I'll make room. And then I have to uh, place out two boxes left from that big store collection I bought. 
Uh, I have been selling it. It just it was overwhelming how much we had in here. And the comic boxes, I kind of want to get these all filled up. So I got to organize and sort and price a bunch more comic books just so that I can get the top rows all by sections and those sections. Oh, and I realized that box has to go back up top. I actually, some of these boxes have just like loose toys and different random things in it. So I feel like these upper boxes, I need to go through them, see what I can put into the store and kind of clean that up and then maybe put some more of the clutter up here instead of in the front. Uh, so yeah, I have my work cut out for me, but I figure we'll try to get a lot done today. And if I have fun, if this video does well, and if you guys give it a thumbs up, leave a like, leave comments, all that kind of stuff, and the video does really well, maybe I'll start doing them a lot more often. I really enjoy when I do them daily, it just, they stop doing as well. I need people to actually watch them. Leave a thumbs, comment, all that, just to get the algorithm happy. And then if the videos get views, I'll do a lot more videos. I wanna do more videos. Okay, let's uh, start looking through some collections. Okay, I have a whole box of stuff here. This comes from Evan. He came down from New Hampshire with his grandma, Chris. Uh, they just brought in a bunch of stuff to trade into the shop. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, there's some pops, a lot of sodas, some Paka Paka figures. Uh, so let's just go through this box. We have several Tanjiro's. He, I think, bought six, I guess, to get the chase, and he did get the chase. So he just brought in all his extras to trade. So there's a few of those. Uh, we got Basketball Freddy. We have a uh, Coca-Cola can. That one's cool. I do like that one. Um, actually, and then we have a sealed Pan Am Stortus can. I might open the can just because I kind of want the chase. But he did say that uh, his grandma actually put together for Christmas like a whole bunch of these. So he would open till he hit the chase. So these would be the extra ones. So it's probably a lower chance of having a chase. And then we have uh, more Tintro. Those are gonna sell well. Demon Slayer is always in demand. And then we have a Nolan Shell from Star Wars. That's cool. Uh, okay, and then these are all just commons. So we have uh, Cavity Sam. Chilly Willy, love that one. Uh, I feel like I want to get back into collecting these again. I'm just, I really, really stopped for a while. I just don't have the space. Quake, I would love to find the space. We have uh, Aruto, that one's kind of cool. Let me try to go through the cans first and then I will tackle the uh, mystery mini stuff. Oh, Pumpkin Jack, that one I actually might keep just cause it's super neat. Love Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Quake again. Oh, man at arms. So yeah, I made a lot of room for sodas, but now I have a lot of sodas. <laughs> uh, Bakugo, I actually might keep that one because I love my hero. Okay, and then we have a uh, Muttley. I think I still have a bunch of Muttleys. Uh, Woodsy Owl, that one's neat. A little bit more limited. Uh, another Cavity Sam. Poison Ivy, oh, that one I might keep as well. I am kind of still keeping sodas a little bit just because you can always find room for a soda. Uh, Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Bazooka Joe, I guess this isn't as fun as it when I open up and show you, but uh, I don't feel like opening it all up today. So I guess, uh, oh. I'm not Tanjiro, I'm not sure why I I'm not sure why I didn't close that one. That one might have been dented. That's why I didn't close it. Oh, we had a Looney Tunes Lego figure. And just a whole bunch more sodas. I guess I'm just not gonna go through every soda because I'm not gonna display them. Uh, Paka Pakas, I might just take them all out and show you just because I gotta price them in bags. I love these though, I think they're super cute. Oh yeah, a whole bunch more fruit bats and stuff, which I showed you before. And then I think there's some Disney minifigures. Okay, so, oh, and then there is a little pocket pop. That is really neat. Okay, so that's cool. That stuff I got priced out, put into the shop. So that's one of the jobs I gotta get done today. Okay, you know what? I feel like opening up my San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop box here. I, uh, you know, curious. Let's see what I got. I mostly got this stuff. You know what happened? I missed the drop by like 30 minutes. And so a lot of the stuff I really wanted was sold out. I was kind of bummed out about that. I almost didn't place an order, but then I thought, you know what? Let me get all the sodas because it's still like a chance to get one of the chases because chases are always expensive. And uh, I think I got one other. All right, let's go through the box. Okay. Oh yeah. 
All right. Uh, okay, first thing we're gonna take out is this right here. Oh yeah, this is super neat. I don't think this one will have a lot of value long term, but I really want it. It's the Young He doll from Squid Game, the six inch pop. Oh yeah, I really, really love that one. That one is cool. I'm so happy I got that. Okay, and then this is double pack? I don't remember ordering a double pack. What would that be? What would I have ordered? All right, I'm a little confused unless it's, oh, okay. Uh, that's weird. Oh, you know what? I guess I did order the Star Wars ones just in case, because sometimes the Star Wars ones are the ones that become super expensive, especially with the Cassian Andor from the new show. So I figure I uh, might as well grab them just in case, because I'll be bummed out if I don't have them, if the price goes up. I don't know if it will, but just in case. And then uh, this is, what else? I forgot I ordered those. Oh yeah, okay, I ordered a couple more. I ordered the Silk, which I actually really wanted, and the Chocho from Baruto. She looks super cute. I love the little fairy wings. Okay, that's cool. I actually got some cool pups. Okay, and then I ordered, let's see, it looks like one, two, three, four, five sodas. Okay, I guess we'll start going through the sodas. Okay, we have uh, Bilbo Baggins. It's the sticker. I'm hoping the sticker's not on the plastic. Some of the older ones will be on the, yeah, it's on the can. So that's good. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, ooh, we got the cheese. 1,600 pieces, that's actually a pretty decent limit. All right, let me open that up. He looks all mad for his ring. <laughs> oh yeah, that is cool. So happy to get the cheese, awesome. Okay, okay next we have uh, Otto. This one is super cool, and I think there's two different chases you can get, and each one is like one in 600. Oh man, I really hope I get the chase on this one. I love this figure. Okay, let's get this open. Okay, open, open. All right, get the lid off. <sighs> kind of hard to get these off sometimes. Okay, let's see what we got. We got just the common one. <laughs> Oh no, not the chase. That's okay though, one in 6,000. Let's check it out. Okay, he is a really neat figure though. Absolutely love that figure. Okay, he's cool, happy to get that. Okay, we got three more. Okay, we have the Hatsune Miku, which I love Miku. So I'm hoping that one has a chase. That would be awesome. I have a Star-Lord and who is that? Uh, Lara Flies or Larflees, whatever, from the Red Lanterns or Orange Lanterns. Okay, let's look at Miku first. This is the one I'm most excited about. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got the chase. Looks like just the common. All right, let me open her up. Okay, she's a really neat figure. I love that her hair is just really long and curls down around her. Yeah, that's a fantastic soda figure. I love it. Okay, next we have the Lara Fleas. This is a lantern, I forget what lantern, orange lantern. Okay. Let's see what we got, do we get the chase? Uh, oh, is that the chase? Is that the chase? Yeah, cool, one in 800. That's actually a really low number. Okay, sweet. Okay, he looks super cool. I'm guessing the chase is he glows. That is a really neat figure. Actually, really happy with that. Okay, two out of four chases is actually really good. All right, Star Lord. If he's not a chase, that's fine. We still got better than odds. And if he's a chase, that's amazing. Amazing. Kind of happy I got the chase on the uh, large fleas. I think that one is kind of rare or hard to get. Okay, what do we got? We got, I think, just the regular one. Yeah. Okay, let's open it up. Yeah, he looks super cool. I really do like these soda figures. Uh, maybe I'll start focusing on collecting these a bit more instead of pops just because of my space limitations Just because I really enjoy these. I was really happy with that This is kind of the first time that I didn't buy everything that I could I just kind of bought what I really wanted just because I was late to buy on the website I was like normally I would just buy everything I could but I was like, you know what? I already missed out on the stuff I really wanted the stuff that probably will be the most expensive So I just was more selective and you know what that was actually kind of nice 
everything else I'll end up getting in the future. Okay, next I have two boxes of stuff from Matt and Sophia. I guess we'll go through that. Then I gotta work on cleaning up the mess of all the stuff I'm pulling out. <laughs> but like I said, by the end of the day, I need to get this front dealt with. Okay, let's dig into this box. Uh, okay, so the comic books I'll do on uh, Pop Comics. Uh, we have uh, Eerie from My Hero Academia. I might still actually need that one. We have a uh, El Giro Unbreakable version. That one I might need as well. So those I might end up keeping. Uh, we have a Captain Action figure, I think. That is really neat. A uh, little pouch here of a whole bunch of Lego figures. I'll actually, I'll go through those to see if my son wants any, and then I'll put the rest in the shop. They'll sell well. Lego figures always sell for me. Okay, we have a uh, Puncho Punch figure. That one, I think I still have a whole bunch in stock. Uh, the Guardian from Samurai Jack. That one I'm actually keeping, because I love Samurai Jack. Uh, we got a Baboon. He's kind of neat, actually. Uh, we had a whole bunch of Basquiat t-shirts. If any of these are extra large, I think I'm actually, yeah, I might actually keep that one. My best friend in high school is a huge Basquiat fan, so every time I see Basquiat, it just gives me such a great nostalgia rush. So yeah, definitely going to keep that. But it looks like there's a couple of the shirts. So I'll, actually, I'll probably put a couple in the shop for like 15 bucks. Uh, oh, we got some more of these modern He-Man figures, Stratos. I actually might keep those just because I really want a full set of these. I think these are amazing. Oh, I'm too tempted. Oh, another baboon. That is cool. Uh, what do we have here? We got a Star Trek. Uh, is it uh, the Doctor, I think? Okay. Oh, more He-Man figures. Those are actually really neat. Um, keep it too much. We got DVD. A couple of books, it looks like. A Star Trek DVD set. So the motion picture set. Uh, let's see, another book. That's cool. We have a, is that a Bruce Lee photo. Looks like a Bruce Lee photo from, uh, yeah, Enter the Dragon. Very, that's actually really cool. All right, the comic books I'm gonna put into a uh, pop comics video. Those I got gathered together. And then he had some of these uh, Creo, not Creo, who made these? Forever Clever. So one of these like off brand, no, it's Hasbro. So it's a Hasbro made Snake Eyes figure. That's actually kind of neat. And uh, just a chopper. Oh, a Nintendo Mini. I forgot that was in here. I would've been playing with that the last few weeks. So that's going to my collection to play with. And then, uh, okay, there's a stack of horror magazines. I'm gonna put down Pop Comics. And then we just have some DVDs. I got a price out. Some cool ones, you know, some music ones. And uh, yeah, some more music ones. And music ones, yes. You know, we sell music, so this stuff will sell for us. Those are really cool. And then just a whole bag of little teeny mini figures. I'm not sure what these are, but these are super awesome. Like it's a little clock tower guy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep that bag of stuff. I love little teeny toys like that. Oh, I keep it too much. Ah, oh, but that's okay. It gives me joy at the end of the road. Uh, like more money or more joy, I'd rather have more joy. <laughs> I had to lay out all these little mini figures because I think they're adorable. Do you guys know what these are? I forgot to ask what they were, but I love them, especially like the little Moai guy and the little buildings and like the boom box. These are adorable. I love them. Yeah, I think this is a second box of stuff from them, which looks like a whole bunch of comic books. So those will go into Pop Comics. Uh, ooh, this is cool. It's like a lenticular roller coaster. That is really neat. Oh, and then a, a sticker from Coney Island. Uh, some CDs, CDs, you know, they'll sell. It takes a little while to sell CDs, but Metallica will sell and Led Zeppelin and the Beatles. Uh, oh, I forgot there's a stack of records. Let's pull the records out and take a look. I think there's some cool rock and roll ones, if I remember. Yeah, I gotta get this stack priced out into the shop. So, uh, just, uh, let's see if anything jumps out as, like, super awesome. I see a few decent artists in here, uh, but nothing like, you know, Donna Summer sells pretty well. Amy Winehouse, that's cool. I don't get newer stuff that often. Uh, Eurythmics, sorry. Uh, some of the stuff will sell pretty fast. Some of the stuff will take a little bit. 
uh was that neil young or just crazy horse by themselves that will sell Lisa franklin king uh t-rex t-rex is a better record earth wind and fire always sells for me uh sonny rollins yeah that's cool oh soundtracks of old like sci-fi movies are always cool to me too all right so yeah lots of cool records those i gotta get placed out today into the shop i think i need to get a comic box to put all the comics just so i can bring these over to my office and uh just get them out of the shop for here it's so messy okay i'll work on that next okay let me just check in these boxes quick i think this was some tick stuff left over that i bought like a month or two ago just an empty tray i thought i might need to use uh this just looks like some random stuff i just never got around to pricing sometimes like this box right here stuff that just kind of random loose pops uh sometimes i'm just slow to process it because it doesn't sell so fast this is uh just some random card like these are all scratched games so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with those uh oh and then these boxes are more stuff from matt and sophia i believe and some other comic books i got from someone else so i'm gonna put that into the uh, pop comics pile and we'll go through this stuff oh and another stack of comics from them so that'll go into pop comics to show you guys uh let's see what we got we got really cool master of the universe hot wheel set I think it's sealed yeah that's sealed we've got some cool uh i guess some anime or super saiyan figures a couple of those guys not really familiar with them but they look cool uh there's a bag with a i guess it's a ghostbusters and one other lego set mixed together loose legos like that are a little bit harder to sell just because people like the fun of putting them together Ooh, okay, this is cool. We have some Star Wars Black Series, uh, Star Wars Rebels. That's got to have a little bit of value. And then a whole bunch of Black Series figures, which I need to price out. I should, you know, I priced them out when I bought them, but I don't remember what I paid. And I should have wrote notes down or priced them as I bought them like I normally do. I've just been kind of out of it, so I'm just, you know, I'm not trying to buy stuff. But occasionally a few things slip in. Okay, next we have a uh, Doctor Who Dalek plushie and a cool uh, iron man 3 you know art of book i do collect these that is super cool all right next box underneath is oh a whole bunch more comic books from uh i think this is from them uh it might be from someone else man i got a lot of comic books i'm gonna have to get some boxes to put all the comics into just to make it easier to carry and to clear out the front here okay and then this box is uh more comic stuff okay <laughs> oh so much clutter honestly i'm kind of bad i'm trying not to buy anything but the only thing i really can't say no to is comic books people say they're gonna sell me comic books i'm gonna buy them because i love them so much and you know if i can get them for cheap or for a great price i'm gonna buy them i would do the same thing with pops but i run out of space way faster with pops than i do with comic books okay i guess let me start pricing all this stuff out and then uh i'll give you a little update of the shop once i've cleaned up and done all that kind of stuff all right i priced out the stack of records and i threw them in this box just as like a new arrival box all right let me get on to the next job okay i uh i priced out the black series figures and the dalek and i cleaned up that shelf a little bit uh i need to put some hooks up here and hang up a couple of small things above it but yeah getting a little bit more organized right here all right just priced out the music dvds and made space for them so they go right there okay i found an extra double size pop protector so i figured i'd fill it up with all these lego figures there's four ghostbuster figures uh riddler there's a batman and the batmobile two star wars figures and a flash so was that four five six seven eight nine figures i put 30 bucks on it i figured individually the figures could easily go for like three to five dollars a piece but then i would have a bunch of loose parts so i figure someone if they want to try to figure out what goes to what and put it back together they can get this whole bundle for 30 bucks which is actually not a bad price for lego figures found a pile of vintage rock magazines we just priced out looks like a bunch of really fun stuff you know five bucks for kind of the less popular characters or music five bucks and then there's a couple of more expensive like david bowie uh, Annie Lennox is on the bottom there. Jeff Beck. That one goes for a bit more. 
And there's some Lincoln Palmer. So that's cool. It's always fun to get stuff like that. I'm gonna put them in the back here with the vintage magazines and stuff. So I love having vintage magazines in the shop. I do have an empty box. We've sold the whole box for it in the last few months. I need to find some more magazines to refill that. Oh, looks like someone left a whole pile of records back here. They must have pulled some out and decided not to buy these ones. So I gotta go put these away. I put the two, uh, the orangutan and the gorilla or baboon in a pot protector for seven bucks. And I just had to find a spot to put them. Okay, put price tags on the Basquiat shirts. I'm gonna hang these up right in the front. Okay, done. All right, the shop's open now, so it's a little bit harder to keep working. But uh, I'm gonna keep trying to get the front of here cleared out, priced up, and put away. So I put some hooks up there for the mini Lego figures, and I put them in little bags, and I priced them out. So a little bit of use of that space right there. All right, I bagged up and priced up the Dr. Evil figure. I'm just gonna stick them here for now. He'll probably sell pretty quick. He's pretty cool looking. All right, I priced out a whole bunch of the loose pops, and I just hung them up in the front wall here. So get a little bit more done. I just have a few action figures that one of my regulars just traded in. So we have a Casca Reeves Black Series figure, which is super cool. A Bo Katan figure. A Soka three and three fourth inch figure. This one I'm actually going to keep because she's pretty cool. And then a Hot Wheels set, which I think is pretty neat. So yeah, that's super cool. He traded that in for store credit. All right, it's been a long day. I got a good amount of work done. Still a lot more that has to be done, so I'll work on that tomorrow. Uh, but we close in about 20 minutes, so I think I have to end the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!